Hey everyone, this is Diddy Witcher one and today I'm just going to be talking real quick about some of the Jimmy 2018 life sizes. So there are a few Jimmy 2018 life sizes that have made production. Those include the witch right in front of me, the fortune teller arcade machine booth thing, the werewolf, Sally, and the pumpkin reaper. All of which, except for the witch, are made with like the SVI kind of design. And I, however, the witch here is not made like that. I think the reason is, is because it's mainly because of the witch head. But here's what I've noticed. So while the werewolf and the fortune teller and the pumpkin reaper all come with the little chimey buttons, the witch actually has one of the original chimey buttons that comes with her. And it's not the store display on the instructions. There it is. And she also has the original connecting piece, which show you, maybe not, but, yeah, and by the way, this is her box right here. Um, fairly small box, but everything fits in there fine. And so the mechanics of this item are good. The head is good. The hair is actually good. The hat's good. Um... Mine, however, was just faulty as heck. Like, the me not mechanically wise, so... Or not mechanic wise, I should say. But, um, first of all, so this is the um, lever that you use to take the head on and off. It's still on there, but this big part of it is uh, broken off. That's how it was right out of the box. So I'm sure that just happened during shipping, but that's not too big of a deal. Enough for me to, like, try and go through the trouble of exchanging it or whatever. Um, the one, and the broom, the outfit was very hard to get on, but most of the times when I've gone pole-based items, either the outfit was already on, like with her, because I heard she's hard to put the outfit on, or it was just an easy outfit to put on, because it was a very loose outfit. This outfit was, I mean, I set up the zombie and everything, even the Black Widow was pretty, fairly easy, just really tight. This outfit I had trouble with getting on. And another thing, for some reason on mine in particular, they put too much dye in the dress because you can see my fingernails. So I was saying this up, I would notice all this black material on my hands. So the the dye actually came off on my hands. So I'm going to get cleaned up in a bit. And it was a lot more on my hand, obviously, but under the nails, it's still like that. So that just shows you how... Um, excess it was I guess there may even be a little bit of dye on the face randomly but it doesn't really matter it sort of I guess adds to the effect but the broom is like the sassy witch's broom it's not like the traditional cauldron witch stick um I th it's worth the money it's made like the 2017 ones I just wish that the outfit was done a bit differently where they didn't put accidentally put too much dye on it and this is just random luck right here this piece but i've not had anyone else that i know of complaining about the outfits so i guess it's just mine um she does have a little bit of a chemical smell to her she just needs to be sat on like a back porch or something for a day or so she just needs to be aired out basically so yes i recommend her yes she is well made mechanically the mechanics for the dancing are just as good as the original cauldron witch and the the head is just as good as like a 2010 rota broom head like the, mechanically the mouth doesn't move as much as the 2010s but that's probably better for it because then it's less stress on the mechanism but it still moves so i guess i just had bad luck with this another thing i noticed though between this and the others the, the Overall box material seems to be a little different, I think. I don't know, but... Um, so, what I the reason why I think this item, which is made with the Jimmy, more Jimmy-like parts, has the red button versus the other button, is because the factory was made in. I think this was made in the regular Jimmy factory, and the other uh, new life sizes are produced in a different factory. So I'm pretty sure that's why there are those differences. But yeah, the sound quality is good. Mechanics are good. The only things that I would complain about is just with mine, the outfit. But I don't know of anyone else that's had that issue. And then 
that and the broom is you just have to get the a tip for the broom get the top get the broom is in three sections get the top piece and just push it as hard as you can through the hand it's not going to break the hand don't worry it's just a tight fit so she doesn't like let go of it or anything so just get the top section push hard till that gets in and then just stick the other section through the other way and then you can connect it that way it gets a twist but yeah so this video is just talking about my experience with mine i'm glad i got this item she comes works with batteries and an adapter and comes with both um honestly that's not really any complaints so too much about the item itself just with my particular item there are these issues so if your lois has her i recommend going to get her she's very uh reminiscent of an older jimmy life size i just wish the outfit was better and if you know of any ways to get dye excess dye out of outfits then go for it but yeah so this is this was just a little video talking about my witch and then why the other ones are different and just to wrap it up i know i keep rambling on i didn't really plan this video at all i'm pretty sure that they're experimenting so they they've got these new designs for the life sizes but they still kept her so they're gonna see like if this one gets returned less or if it just sells more in general than like let's say the fortune teller and if it does the next year will probably see more of the ones like in 2017 and if she sells equally as well or even or worse than you know sally the werewolf the fortune teller then we may not even see this kind of uh design again with where the head clicks on and everything instead of just connecting a little wire and putting it on two prongs Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you learned something from this.